Hello, my dear students. Now we are having next question. Question number thirty-five. Doubly ionized helium ion are projected with a speed of ten kilometer per second. So the speed is equal to ten into ten raised to power three meter per second. Because this kilometer per second we can convert into meter per second by multiplying ten raised to power three. Okay. Always we have to use SI unit and the direction perpendicular to the uniform magnetic field of one Tesla. And the first part of the question is find the force acting on an ion. So the first part it is asking for the force and force whenever a charged particle moving in perpendicular magnetic field it will be Q V B. So if you are talking about the charge on doubly ionized helium ion. So this Q is equal to two into E. Okay, so it will become two into one point six into ten raised to power minus nineteen, and the velocity is ten raised to power four. This ten into ten raised to power three can written as ten raised to power four, and magnetic field is one. So finally, we are getting three point two into ten raised to power minus fifteen newton. Okay. Minus fifteen newton. That is the force acting on this ion is uh, doubly ionized helium ion. Now the next part, the next part is the next part is the B part, the radius of circle. Okay, so this radius R is equal to m v divided by q b. M v divided by q b. And if you are talking about the mass of helium, this mass of helium nucleus is two times, sorry, four times of proton. So four into one point six into ten raised to power minus twenty seven kg. Okay, it is approximate four times of mass of proton because two protons and two neutrons are there, and neutrons we can uh, consider the mass having equal to proton. So we can written as four into mass of single proton. So this R will be four into one point six into ten to the power minus twenty seven. Okay, into velocity is ten to the power four, and the charge is equal to two into one point six into ten to the power minus ninety. And the magnetic field B is equal to one. Okay, so into so this one point six and one point six will cancel out. This two and four we will get two. Okay, two into ten to the power minus twenty three because this ten to the power minus twenty seven into ten to the power four will become ten to the power minus and plus ninety. Okay, so the radius will be two into ten to the power minus uh twenty three plus nineteen that is equal to four, <clears throat> so minus four meter. So that is the radius of circular path. Now we are uh going for the going for the C part. The C part. Is uh, asking for the time period of revolution. Okay, the time taken by an ion to complete one circle. So this time period is equal to two pi m divided by q into b. Okay, so two and pi is equal to three point one four and m four into one point six into ten to the power minus nine minus twenty seven. Minus twenty seven kg divided by q. Q is equal to one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen, but two times so two into, and b is equal to one. So again, this two two will cancel out. One point six one point six will cancel out. We will get four into three point one four into ten to the power <coughs> minus uh twenty seven plus nineteen. So it will become minus eight. So the time period is 
4 into 3.14 so 4 it will become 6 uh, 1 and uh, 4 1 ja 4 plus 1 5 point 12 okay into 10 raised to power minus 8 second that is the answer okay so uh, it is very easy question only the calculation is little bit typical so after putting the value the uh, exact value we can find the answer